needs a sense that Kowloon are a club on the rise, having put in some outstanding shifts on the pitch and coming agonisingly close to a semi-final spot last season. Instead, Kowloon were forced to reconcile with a fifth place finish. We had a young group of players last year and for, for parts of the time and, and periods of game we were, we were tenacious, we, we, we definitely gave it to, to the opposition at times. I think you talk about fifth spot, yeah I think probably at the end of the season we, we let ourselves down a little bit. A pillar to the development of Kowloon is James Sawyer. With a game that harks of a bygone era, Sawyer's raw bone playing style and stoic demeanour make for a natural leader. We're uh, definitely known for one of the clubs that has a um, good time on the social side. We're a really tight um, net bunch of lads. Um, yeah, I think most of my good friends out in Hong Kong, uh, part of Kowloon, and obviously that helps that the club are the one who got me out here. Um, obviously it sounds a bit cringe and cliche, but we've got a nice sort of family vibe going on, so it's good. With the strengthening of the pack comes increased possibilities on attack. And in the Saxo, there's none better to watch with the ball in hand than Jack Neville. I guess the, the time off we've had away from rugby uh, means that fresh, um, body feeling really good and yeah, probably like the freshest I've felt in a while, so body's feeling good. The feeling that Kowloon are a team that lives off scraps is being replaced with an attitude that matches the true nature of this year's team. Snedden knows, with hard yards covered in pre-season, that the key to unleashing their potential is within reach. We've still got plenty of experience in and around the squad and I think our maybe inexperienced players would have learned a lot from last season and, and where, what we need to change and where we need to go for this season and moving forward. I think the guys that we've recruited will bring some experience of some full-time environments. I think credit to the front office and Coach Scott, they've done a great job scouting some talent that really suit the way we want to play and yeah, I've been impressed so far and they're definitely going to make a good impact on the season. But in Neville's mind, given the COVID shortened season, all that preliminary work will come to now unless the boys come out firing from the get go. Short season, so there's no next week really. It's first game of the season, we're going to have to come up flying. We're going to, there's no kind of waiting for next week to get things right. We've got to get things right from the off. So, like fast start, I guess, is the message. And a big part of that ability to take charge from the outset will depend upon the players buying into what the leadership is selling. And that's basically that we'll only go as far as we think we will. Post-season review, the major takeaway is we played for maybe parts of the game. So, and when we played, we could we could beat anyone, really. But it's just where we could do it for a game. So, the main thing we learn is belief in ourselves. Like, and if we can play for a whole game, we're going to win. We're going to go far in this season. One thing that we may have lacked over the last couple of seasons is a little bit of belief, uh, and, and that's probably shown on the on the pitch at times. But. With the, with the new guys coming in and, and the, the squad depth that we'll have come round two and round three, I'm excited that I think these boys, a little bit of belief uh, changing some of the behaviours and I think we can, we can be a force this year.